Hi, I'm Matt Pliskin with Focusrite Pro. Occasionally, you might encounter Dante equipment that appears to be functioning, yet you can't seem to see it in software like Dante Controller. A common cause for this is that the device has been set for a static IP address, and you're expecting to use automatic addressing. Or perhaps you're setting up some static IPs and made a typo, or possibly forgot the subnet that you had used. Fortunately, Dante Controller can detect devices outside of the subnet that the computer is set to use. However, the computer's IP address will need to be set to something other than the link local address that's usually used in Dante networks that use automatic addressing without a DHCP server. All we need to do is go into the network system preferences on a Mac or the IPv4 properties for your network controller that you're using in Windows and set it to use any IP address other than one that starts with 169.254 and apply those settings. Now, if we go back into Dante Controller and hit refresh, we will see the device show up in red. We can now double click it or press Command D to bring up the device view window, where we will see a message stating that the device is not in the correct subnet. But most importantly, it will tell us the IP that it is set to use. Now that we know this, we can go back into the network settings for the computer and set it to be in the same subnet as the Dante device, which will allow us to set the Dante device to have whatever IP address we want it to have. Hopefully you don't have to use this trick to get you out of trouble, but if you find yourself stuck, this should help. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.